All right. We've learned about corresponding angles, alternate interior angles, and alternate exterior angles. And we know that when two lines are parallel, all those angle pairs will be congruent. We also learn about consecutive interior angles, and we know that those angles are supplementary, which means their measures add up to 180 degrees when two lines cut by a transversal are parallel. Now we're going to look at finding X, which proves that A and B is parallel. So here on one, here's our A, here's our B, the lines that we got to make parallel, and we're going to do that by finding the X that satisfies the angle pair that we're given. So here we have this angle and this angle, and they are alternate interior angles. And we know alternate interior angles are congruent, which means their measures are equal. Missed my X in there. All right. So then we're just going to do our regular algebra. And we're going to get X by itself. And so when x equals 16, 16, let's do that a little better. Those two, those a and b will be parallel. Now let's take a look at number two. There's our a and there's our b. And here's the two angles we have to work with, and we can clearly see that they are corresponding angles. And we know that corresponding angles formed on a transversal with parallel lines are congruent, which means their measures are equal. So we get the x by itself, 63 equals 9x, divide through by 9, and we know that a and b are parallel when x equals 7. All right, here's our a, here's our b, and here we have... our little field goal. So we know that we're dealing with consecutive consecutive interior angles. And we know because we remember that consecutive interior angles are supplementary, which means they add up to 180 degrees. So we're going to simplify by combining like terms. Then we're going to get the x by itself. And A and B will be parallel when X equals 19. All right, here's our two lines we want to make parallel. <clears throat> so we're dealing with this angle and that angle. And... We 
know we're dealing with consecutive interior angles, which means they're congruent, so their measures are equal. So we get the x by itself. Then we divide by 7, get rid of that coefficient. And a and b are parallel when x equals 4. So over to number 5. There's our two lines. We want to be proved parallel. Here's the angles we have to work with. They're on the same side of the transversal and the same side of their lines. So they are corresponding angles, which are congruent, which means their measures equal each other. So let's get our x's on the same side. And then get the x by itself. And we divide. And we know that a and b are parallel when x equals 12. All right, there's our two lines. And we can see here, we got two angles that are looking at each other. So we know those are consecutive interior angles and consecutive interior angles. are supplementary, which means their measures add up to 180 degrees. And we're going to simplify by combining like terms. We're going to get the x by itself. And we're going to divide through by 16. And we're going to have x equals 13. So when x equals 13, a and b will be parallel. All right. So here, number 7. There's our a and our b. Our angles are here and here. They're on different sides of the transversal. So they're alternate. They're between the lines. So they are alternate interior angles and alternate interior angles are congruent. So we're going to go ahead and set their measures equal. And we'll solve for x, get x on the same side. And then we will get x by itself. And when x equals 21, a and b will be parallel.
<clears throat> there's our A and our B. Right here, we have our box, which means that that is a right angle. And as we all know, all right angles are 90 degrees. So we have this angle and we have this angle. They're corresponding angles. And corresponding angles are congruent, which means their measures are equal. So we can set that equal to 90 degrees because of the right angle. All right. Get the x by itself, add 18 to both sides. And we get x equals 27. So when x equals 27, a and B are parallel. <clears throat> All right. Here's our A and our B. Here we have two angles that are on opposite sides of the transversal, so we know they're alternate. They're outside the two lines, so they are exterior. and alternate exterior angles. Are congruent. So we're going to set their measures equal. Alright, then we get the X over on one side. Then we're going to get the X by itself. And when X equals 5, A and B will be parallel. All right, last one. Once again, here we have our goalposts which makes these consecutive interior angles. Once again, they are supplementary, which means that we can so we add them together and their measures will equal 180 degrees. Then we're going to combine like terms to simplify. We're going to get the X by itself. Then we'll divide through by 17. And we're going to end up with x equals 11. And x equaling 11 makes a and b parallel, so we are done.